Right, oh, so here we are doing a little video on how to join two pieces of yarn, whether that's in a project that you're making or whether you just want to make a longer piece of string. I've got two colors here. I've got a pale green and a dark green. I'm going to say this is my existing project and I want to join on a new piece of yarn. could be the same color and it can be in any other color. So line up your two ends like so, place them under your thumb, just so that they're sticking out. And your thumb should be a little bit further forward than your index finger, just because of how we're gonna do this. We take our new yarn, our other one is hanging down here, out of your way. Take this new color, in this case, this pale green, wrap it around your thumb, okay? So I took it around my thumb and I'm going to bring it behind these two tails, all right, like that. Then I'm going to continue by taking it behind my thumb, between the thumb and the two tails. So you can see the yarn went this way, through between my finger and the two tails. Okay, I now take this thumb here. And I push those two ends underneath my pinched fingers so they go over the loop at the bottom. And then I gently pull this until it is completely tight. And then I'll have a secure knot. And it's very secure. I'm really tugging on this, and I can, because this is cotton. It's Sheepy's Cotona. Now, in this case, I've got two little tails. I can show you. I can snip them off and pull and pull. And that's <laughs> the, and the yarn actually snapped. So you can see how strong that is. Okay, I'm going to show you again. Take your two tails, put them together. I'm going to leave a tail this time so you can see you can do this with a bit more of a tail so there's my tails take my new yarn keep my existing or old yarn out of the way i'm going to scooch my fingers my thumb forward over this just so i can get the yarn over my thumb and behind oops sorry about that let's do that again line them up new yarn over my thumb and behind my tails there can't lift it off otherwise i may lose it yep it's behind my tails and then i bring it between my thumb and the two tails take my other hand push these two strands under my thumb so basically they're going over the loop from the beginning and in this case, because I let it go, I'll put my thumb back there. Take my yarn. This is the new yarn color. And I pull and I pinch with my nail onto this knot gently. And then, whoops. Okay, there you go. That's how it can come undone. And if that's the case, I have to snip that off. And I have to do it again. So two pieces together. Leave some tails if you want. New yarn over your thumb and underneath your tails. And the second round goes between your thumb and the two tails. Now push these two tails under your thumb. See, this is why the shorter tail method is actually better. So I've got my two tails through. Oops, I've lost my loop. But there it is. I've got my two tails through. Pull my loop back over my thumb. And I gently start to pull this new yarn. And pull until I run out of yarn and just give it a tug. So now I've done the same thing. I've got two joins. I've got a join, but this time with a longer tail. So I snip those off. 
that. Really, really strong. Okay. Last time to do this again, cut the knot off, hold my two tails together. So I practiced this um, quite a bit with the longer tails and then I got the shorter tails and I found that to be easier. So two tails, push them under your thumb just so they're peeking out. Take your new yarn, wrap it around your thumb, underneath your thumb and over your tails. Then the second time it comes between your thumb and the two tails, use your thumb on this hand to push the tails backwards under your thumb and then pressing with your nail onto your tail very gently. Just pull that knot until you run out of yarn and then give it a good tug to see that it has actually joined. Now you do find occasionally it hasn't worked. So always give it a really good tug. Obviously, if you've got synthetic yarn that stretches, you don't want to overstretch it. But because of this cotton, I can do that. And there you go. I've just snipped my tails off. And I still have a nice, strong join in my yarn. So there you go. That's how you can do a magic knot. I think they call it. Two tails over the thumb, under the yarn, over the yarn, under the thumb. Tuck your two tails in so they go over the knot and gently pull till you've got no loop left and then give it a tug. Knot completed. Where are we focusing? All over the place. So I hope that's helped. Enjoy your day, everybody, and happy knotting. Bye-bye.